Hey folks, so I just received my package from In Search of Small Things. I purchased a couple of plants off there. There were several others I wanted, but I these are plants that you don't see to find on regular websites. And they're just small terrarium plants. So they had a huge selection of be beautiful things and it's easy to go for broke on that site. And there were some I liked that were also out of stock, but one of the plants I wanted finally came in stock, so I went ahead and made my first order from them. And let us see how they turned out. So the plant I wanted was a begonia lichenera, which is a miniature iridescent blue begonia. And box cutters and inflatable sofas don't mix, so I have to be very careful. So they gave me a lovely thank you card and they say how the package is eco-friendly which means it's all recyclable stuff. So I have my invoice with the Macrogravia species. I guess they didn't know what kind of species of Macrogravia but they said it had scalloped leaves which is kind of nice. So let us assess. They provided packing tape. I mean, packing wrap, and the plants, as fillers, the plants are taped to the bottom with some nice, it, it looks like the uh, painter's tape, only in an unusual color, and they use staples, because staples are more recyclable, I guess, than tape, but um, let me oh so delicately open these to see which plant is which. So what's nice about this style of tape, I know it's more expensive than like masking tape, but it peels off easily. Of course, if you're like me, you paint a wall and use it on the edges, and then when you peel it off, it takes the paint off with it. So anyway, this is the Begonia Lichinera, wow. Basically, it's, it's similar to what some people sell as the Begonia Sarwak, which the Sarwak is a lot more expensive. It supposedly has slightly larger leaves, but um, it will be nice watching this uh, be, you know, glow iridescently. They have this nice bag, which it's cellophane, which cellophane is actually better than typical plastic and and stuff and it helps trap the humidity in of course they let the bottom open so it can still breathe so that's nice i'm gonna set this down here on the whiteboard and now for the other plant the macrogravia how's mark grav yeah so i keep I keep reading a lot of plants sometimes a little differently. Ooh, this one's leaking at the bottom. Ugh. Let me just break it off. But this is a really beautiful example. Because the pot is spilling over, I'm gonna just leave that on there for now. But it is beautiful. Look at how the leaves go from like darker and the newer leaves are lighter. It's just a beautiful creeping plant. It's going to look really beautiful in terrarium. I'm trying to look at the scalloped. So it's like the front of the leaf, it's arched, so the underside is scalloped. So anyway, I'm happy with this purchase. And I hope you enjoyed watching the unboxing. I wish you the best of luck to your planting adventures and don't forget to hit that uh, can't even speak. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.